Hey everyone, uh, this is going to be hopefully a quick guide on how to use Mining Pool Hub and Nemos Miner together. Um, since the nice hash hack, uh, I've been looking for a replacement service so that I can put all my GPUs to work. And uh, after trying what I feel like has been just everything, this is what I've come up with as being the best. Um, nice hash was nice because you could just install a client run a benchmark and just start earning Bitcoin immediately by selling your hashing power with your GPUs. Um, but obviously there were some flaws. Uh, um, I mined about $400 worth of Bitcoin. I don't have any of it because they s stored all of it in a, sing in a single online account, which got hacked. And then all of those, it was like $67 million in Bitcoin got dumped. So yeah, long story short, nice hash is not the way to go right now. I mean, the service isn't even working right now. Um, but Mining Pool Hub and Nemos Miner will let you mine coins directly, which is pretty nice. And you can be in control of your coins. Uh, well, mostly in control of your coins. They're still going to have to go to the pool and the pool will pay you out. But you can set your own profit thresholds or your payout thresholds. Um, you're, you have a lot more control than you did with NiceHash, no question about it. Um, it does have profit switching, or the ability to have profit switching, uh, like profit priority for different coins. So we're, what we're looking at right now is the NVIDIA uh, top earners. Um, I don't know how often this is refreshed. I think it's like every five minutes. Um, but right now, uh, the Lira 2 RE2 algorithm with Monacoin is uh, most profitable. And there's two different coins on that algorithm. Sometimes it's uh, Vertcoin, sometimes it's Monacoin. <clears throat> and it goes back and forth. Um, so what the goal is, is to use Nemos Miner, which will benchmark all of your GPUs and figure out what your system's good at and then point that towards mining pool hub and the combination of the two will decide what coin to mine at any given point. Now mining pool hub has different pools for each coin. Um, so you can have payouts for each individual coin and you can also mine single coins at any given time. You don't necessarily have to use the profit switching. So I think that's pretty nice gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of options, uh, a lot of different ways to be adaptive, adaptable in the future and just kind of plan for that. So um, basically for mining pool hub, you just have to create an account, which I've already done and I'm logged in on the balances screen. You can see all of your current balances uh, for each coin and just like nice hash, it will, it will, I guess it has the option to auto exchange your earnings into a different coin. What the, what they will do is credit you a certain amount for your earnings. And I think the fee is point, uh, for auto exchange is 0.2%, but the pool fee is 0.9%. So a total of 1.1%, which is really low, um, especially compared to nice hash, which I believe was in the three to 4% range. Plus, there were withdrawal fees with NiceHash, <coughs> which were not insignificant. So, anyway, um, on this screen, you'll just see the coins that you actually have. If you don't have any, like, you know, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any Ethereum, so you just won't see it here. If I did have any, it will show up. So, this screen will dynamically change as it's updated. Um, right now, I'm cashing out everything to Litecoin. And so as I earn Monocoin, for example, automatically it will get credited for auto exchange. In parentheses, that's the unconfirmed balance. As it's confirmed, it'll go over on the left side. And then after a period of time, it will go on exchange. And then after it's on the exchange, it will show up in my Litecoin balance. So it's a, it's not the most transparent thing. Uh, but once you get it up and running and you're up and running for a few days, your payouts will start to become regular 
and you can set your payout thresholds to whatever you want. And they're very upfront with what the fees are for each one. Um, I think the Litecoin fees are pretty low and the speed at which it changes out into Litecoin is uh, pretty fast as well. So I'm changing out to Litecoin for the time being. Um, I do have some Bitcoin when I was doing that, but the fees are higher with Bitcoin and it's a little bit slower. And just to show you how to do that, pick one I'm not using. So click on Ethereum, it goes to your Ethereum pool. You see where we see we're at ethereum.miningpoolhub.com. And everything down here is the Ethereum pool options. You can click on your dashboard. You can see how much you're contributing to the pool via your hash power. You're confirmed, unconfirmed, uh, confirmed for auto exchange. This is only if you have auto exchange enabled. And you can create workers for, like say you just wanna mine Ethereum, you would need to create workers and then assign the workers to your uh, mining clients that way. Um, your wallet screen, you can put an Ethereum address here so you can pay out to Ethereum. This is where you set your automatic payout threshold. And it says you can do between 0 0.01 and, holy crap, that's a lot, 250,000 <laughs> Ethereum. Uh, and then it says, you know, there's a 0 0.0017 Ethereum transfer fee for every payout that you do via the automatic method. Or if you don't have anything automatic and say you just, you know, you get four or five Ethereum in here or however much, you can just pay out the remaining balance by using this window on the side. And if you don't have auto exchange set up, all of your coins will be credited. And if you want to enable auto exchange at a later date, say you add Bitcoin a couple of days later and you're like, well, all this Ethereum sitting in here, but it's not exchanged yet. You can just click this arrow and it won't instantly transfer over here. You have to give it maybe five or 10 minutes. Uh, but just click this arrow once and it'll say up here, uh, exchange has begun to like auto exchange or whatever. And then everything will start to transfer into Bitcoin. Um, just like any other pool, uh, we're going to be using the auto exchange. Uh, but like, just like any other pool, you need to create workers. So if you're going to be using that, we're going to use the hub workers at the top. And here's where you create your workers. We don't need to change anything here, uh, especially for Nemos Miner. If you want to do um, per, per per algorithm profit switching, you would need to change some of the, these options in here. But for the setup we're doing today, uh, you can leave this at no work and default, and then password just would be X. Uh, and then you can create your miners. And then the auto exchange screen, this is where you pick your coin that you want to exchange into. And again, you just set your address in the pool uh, that corresponds to that coin. And that's pretty much all you need to know about mining pool hub. Uh, it's pretty easy. And we can just go back to the main page. And then in the quick start guide, we're going to go down and click on the Nemos Miner link. And here we're going to be using Nemos Miner version 2.2.1. And you can download via this link here. And then the other thing you want to make sure you have, you want to have the NVIDIA CUDA Toolkit version 9.0 and Windows, you know, you just pick your version and then I would do the local EXE so you don't have to download from the network while you're installing. Uh, it's about 1.3 or 1.4 gigs, so make sure you have the space for that. But after you download it, you can delete it. I think it, I don't think it's that quite that large once you, once you actually installed it. So I've already got Nemus Miner open or downloaded here. Uh, WinRare. I thought I had 7-zip on this machine. I guess I don't. So I'm just going to extract it into a folder. There's no installation process. Everything's going to be run from this folder here. And the first thing I'm going to do is delete the batch files that I'm not going to be using. So the only start one we're going to be using is the mining pool hub. The rest we can delete. So when you start this, it's going to download all of the miners that you need and then run a benchmark with the hardware that you have. Um, if at any point the benchmark 
isn't accurate or say there's an error or something or you change your hardware or you overclock um, just hit the reset benchmark script here it'll open and close immediately and then just reopen your your uh, start batch file here and it'll automatically rerun the benchmarks um, I would do that you know just there's really no downside to doing it um, it'll give you more accurate profit predictions and more accurate profit switching uh, as well so uh, just make sure you have accurate accurate benchmarks that's really important and in order to get everything working we're going to edit this batch file and the first thing we're going to look for is the GPU EWBF and GPU CC minor settings so, I don't know why this is the way it is, but as it comes to default, it's set up for two GPUs, and it's actually set up incorrectly. So, EWBF needs spaces in between each device number, each CUDA device number. So, if we have four GPUs, we're going to be using 0, 1, 2, and 3, because it starts at 0. And then if we have uh, four GPUs that we want to use for CC minor, Give me 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's different for each one. It's going to be spaces for the first one, commas for the second one. I don't know why it's set up incorrectly from the get-go, but I don't think there's actually any downside to having more devices assigned than there actually are. But anyway. So yeah, if you have two GPUs, it's just 0 and 1. Say so if you have 7, it's 0 through 6. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Here you would put your username. Uh, that's just your username for for Mining Pool Hub, and then your worker name, the worker name that you created for this machine. Uh, location U.S. is default. There is a Europe location. I don't know if it's EU or just Europe. I forget. Uh, type is NVIDIA. In other programs, you can do NVIDIA or AMD or CPU. In Nemos Miner, it's NVIDIA only. The important algorithms are already here. Uh, if you want to enable some secondary ones, you can do that. Or if you want to delete some of these, you can. The order does not matter. So these are the algorithms that are pretty popular on Mining Pool Hub. And all of the profitable ones are already here. So this is not necessarily, you don't necessarily need to change that. And then the donate five. That is not 5%. That is five minutes out of every day. So you could leave that on, but that donates to the developer of Nebus Miner. Uh, I'm going to turn that off. You just put zero and close it and save it. And so when you run that, it's going to open this window and you'll see this as it starts to load the PowerShell scripts and it'll download the miners. You'll see it do that as well. This is the main window. It won't look like this once it's fully started up but don't close this. Let this run, let the whole thing run. If it errors out, try to diagnose and solve the errors, but um, I wouldn't close this while it's running. Once everything's set up and you benchmarked and everything like that, then you can close it when, obviously when, when you wanna stop mining. Um, but yeah. So I'm running this on a laptop. Um, not the most ideal setup. So I'm actually going to close this, but I'll show you my setup that's running on my dedicated six, well, seven GPU miner. It's got one 1066 gig, five 1063 gigs, and a GTX 980. So this is the main window once everything's open. At the top you see the current price of BTC, and I think it uses Coinbase. Here are all the miners and algorithms that are available the benchmark speed of each one and the btc gigahash per day ratio and that's how they find out the btc per day or us dollars per day for each one and here's the pool they're all going to be mining pool hub and then below here's the currently running algorithm you can see it's been running for one hour and zero minutes 
excuse me, and the current speed, as well as this one's doing Lyra 2v2, which I think is Monocoin right now. Um, so yeah. And then the window that opens alongside it, this is the mining window. Um, and you can see the live stats of what it's doing. And when you're looking at here, um, these are the shares and basically 247 out of 247, that means there's no rejected shares, which is good. And that's what you want to see. So as this runs, it's just going to have a history of different things here. Every mining window is going to look a little different, but over time you'll start to figure out what everything means and what's important. Uh, but yeah, so this is Nemo's miner running and I'll just show you my afterburner here. This is how I like to have everything set up. So I have GPU temperature at the top, core clock in the middle, and then GPU power at the bottom. And this card, um, the first card looks drastically different because that's the uh, GTX 980. But these are all different brands, a couple of different brands of 1060s. So they're a little bit different in power performance and uh, GPU temperature. But that's pretty much all you need to know about Nemos Miner and Mining Pool Hub. Pretty easy to get it set up. And once you get everything benchmarked, um, really easy to run. Uh, incredibly profitable compared to nice hash so far at least um, on this setup I'm making about $20 a day on nice hash I was doing about 13 or 14 dollars and I thought that was pretty good at the time because uh, it really only supposed to do about a dollar sixty based on their profitability calculator per GTX 1063 gig so anything over two dollars a day I was pretty happy with but now I'm reaching towards the three dollars a day and uh, I'm liking that a lot. So that was my tutorial on Mining Pool Hub and Nemos Miner. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments or in the subreddit, join on Discord. There's a crypto section on Discord now and uh, be happy to talk to anyone there. See you guys next time.